I already have these formatted as date cells. So I'm just going to enter in equals and then the word today and then some parentheses or an open bracket and a close bracket and press return. We should display today's date press return or enter and there we have today's date so I'm going to do the same in row 4 column D so again it is equals word today and open and close brackets and press enter or return on your keyboard okay so that gives us today's date and what we're going to do next is to enter a start date and end date for these two dates. So I'm going to enter a date that is not um, where today's date is not in between those two dates. So I'm going to enter two dates in, say, December. So let's say. Um, first of the 12th 20 and an end date will be say 10th of the 12th 20 and our next row row 4 is going to be two dates that are in between or sorry either side of today's date so I'm going to enter in the first of the fourth 20 and then I'm going to enter in Let's say the twentieth, the fourth, twenty. So you can see in row four, our current date is in between the start date and the end date, whereas row three is not. So to highlight a cell, to highlight a date between two dates in Excel. What we need to do is to now enter a conditional formatting formula for our date column or column D cells. So what I'm going to do is to click on conditional formatting and select new rule. And from the new formatting rule pop-up box, I'm going to select the bottom option which is use a formula to determine which cells to format and in this field I'm going to enter the formula which will highlight the cell if it is in between our start date and our end date so the formula is an AND formula um, for those of you uh, familiar with logic functions, you will understand what this is. Um, so basically, it begins with equals, and then we type the word and, and then we open our parentheses or open bracket. And then we start with the column D reference. So what we want to say is if column cell sorry if cell d3 is greater than or equal to cell b3 so the way we do it is we enter the dollar sign and then b and then the dollar sign again and then number three and that provides our cell reference for cell B3. Um, you may be wondering what the dollar signs are for. The dollar signs are an absolute reference. Um, so if you copy this formula to another cell, 
it will still be looking at cell B3. Okay, and a comma is next. And then again, we enter uh, our initial uh, date cell, which is D3. So D3, and then if D3 is Sorry, my mistake. I put less than I meant to do, greater than. And this one is less than or equals to our end date cell reference, which is cell C3. So that is, oh, we need the dollar first. Dollar C, dollar three. And then we can close our parentheses or close our brackets. Now we set our highlight um, options for our cell, for our date cell. So I'm going to select format. And I'm just going to select bold font. And um, I think a color. Let's select red, make it nice and bold. Okay. So what this is saying is, if cell D3 is between our start date in cell C3 and our end date uh, in cell B3 and our end date in cell C3, then it will highlight our date in bold font and red text. So I'll click OK. So as you can see, our current date is not in between our start date and end date. So again, to demonstrate how to highlight a cell between two cells, uh, sorry, highlight a date between two dates in Excel, what we need to do is to enter that formula again for our next cell, which is cell D4. So again, I'm going to select conditional formatting and a new rule. And again, select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I can now enter the formula to use. So again, it is using the AND function. So A equals AND. We open our brackets. And we are looking at cell D4. So if it is greater than or equal to, then our start date cell reference, which is cell B4. So dollar B dollar four, then comma, and then our date cell reference, which is again D4. Then what we need is our references for our less than or our end date, which is a cell C4. So uh, we need less than or equal to then dollar C dollar four and then close our parentheses or close our brackets and format our cell to be highlighted so again I'm just going to choose bold bold font and red text and select OK now because this current date is between our start and end date when I click OK we should hopefully see cell D4 highlighted because it is between our start date and our end date so if I select OK so we can now see that cell D4 has been highlighted which is exactly what we wanted um, I can demonstrate this by changing it so if I change it to um, the same dates as in row 3 so first at the 12 20 and 10th of the 12th 
20. You can see our cell is no longer highlighted because it's not in between the two parameters or the start date and end date of our row. So if we change it back and say the first, fourth, 20 to the 20th. 20 and you can see our date in row 4 has been highlighted because it meets those parameters okay everybody so this is how you highlight a date between two dates in Excel hope this has been a useful video thank you for watching use my box and I'll see you again on another video soon bye bye